My name is James Williams Jr. We're going to come for number two. So I'm going to read this because I can kind of relate. And I don't really know how to not really explain it, but reply, retrieve, receive. Because um, I got catfished. I lost a fuck ton of money. Which is why I kind of can relate. So I'm going to read this and then I'm going to probably make a second video and give you my story, you know. So a Malaysian man who strangled a nurse said that he spent money on her but got nothing. This is the murderer and the victim. So Singapore Ann, a man strangled 28-year-old nurse in a jealous rage and tried to have sex with her corpse. That's not cool. That's not what it says, but it says the part about sex with the corpse and the jealous corpse and the jealous rage. Told the police after his arrest that he spent money on her for years but ended up with nothing. The high court heard on Thursday, September 19th. Oh, fucking A. This is going to be difficult, so I'm going to spell it out for you. I think it's Bo, but it's B O H Soon Ho. So I think it's Bo Soon Ho, but I could be wrong. But B O H S O O N H O. <clears throat> 51 is on trial for murdering a Chinese national. Zhang. Holy fuck. Um, H A U I A N G. So I think Zhang is her. Um, her last name. I'm kind of sad about this. And it's a really bad story here, so I'll continue. At his rented Circuit Road bedroom in March 2116, I mean, shit, March 21, 2016, after the suspect, I mean, after the subject had sexual advances and told him no about her relationships with other men. The Malaysian cafeteria worker considered Zhang a former colleague, but to be his girlfriend as they went on shopping and meals together, even though they had never been physically intimate. He admitted to the police in a statement that on the day he killed her, he became angry on hearing she was going out with another man and was still contacting with her former boyfriend in China with whom she had physically been intimate with. I questioned myself why did I provide for her and spend money on her for the past four to five years and yet ending up with nothing. He said in a statement recorded on April 5th, 2016, the day he was arrested after being brought back to, from Malaysia, B-O-H, said that these thoughts were running through running in his mind and he took a blue towel hanging on the door and walked to the mirror and completely I guess he shattered the damn thing for a while. Well he contemplated excuse me. It took me a while to pronounce that. I told myself if I were to strangle her it it has her name H U A X I A N G I'm sorry, I can't say the name, so that's why I said her. It would be the end of me, he said. B-O-H said he then taken a walk behind. I don't know how to say this, so I'm going to spell it. Behind her. C-O-I-L-E-D. The towel. Yes, that's coddling. I don't know what the hell that word is. Coiling, I guess. I don't know around her neck and strangled her while he walked away. How the hell do you do that? On Thursday, I asked for his opinion, B-O-H's account to the Police Institute of Mental, I-M-H, Forensics, I have no idea how to say that, Stephen Pang said the accused was in a cool, deliberate, contemplative state of mind before he strangled the victim. He was considering the options of exercising the judge 
for Dr. Pang testify on second day of trial. Dr. Pang, who, who interviewed Bo, bleh, B-O-H, we just gonna call him Bo, who knew and said an accused of suffering from a mental disorder or mental illness. The intimate aftermath of the killing, he was able to make plans to flee to his hometown of Melika, Melika, M-E-L-A-K-A, to phone his landlord as in he would um, not be coming back to the flat that night to go out to buy a suitcase and collect his salary. He had described the physical in a graphic detail of the act of carrying out on Miss Zhang after strangling her, saying he felt curious because he had never seen her body before. His self-conscious sexually Good God, man. Sexualized act with the deceased body are clearly indications that he was purposeful and purposely. God damn. A personal pleasure. Dr. Pang said his report to the court. Bo repeatedly maintained to Dr. Pang that he had acted in the moment an impulse and anger. In layman's time, he got angry, he lost his temper. In that moment, the psychiatrist said, Dr. Peng said anger was a normal human reaction in the light of Zhang's revelations. Bo, um, against the backdrop of his ASS assumption, excuse me, I'm a dumbass today, I've had a bad day, assumption that she was his girlfriend. Bo also admitted the lying, lying to the landlord that he was married with two children because he was embarrassed to be single in his 40s, and he was 47 at the time of the killing. I'm with you there, buddy. Justice. Damn. I'm sorry. I am not Chinese. Or Malaysian. Pang. Kang. Chow? I'm gonna spell this shit for y'all, man. P A N G K H A N G C H A U. Those are all three of the names. Nothing that seemed to be conscious. Bo had been mistaken about the status of his relationship with Zhang. Asked if he could be, could mean a disfusal, dysfunctional. Dr. Payne replied that there was non-clinical bias for such findings. The trial continues. So, since people are talking, I'll make a second video.